Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into why you never should call a function directly from the HTML within Angular. First and foremost, it's super costly because it involves evaluating the expression for every change detection cycle. And the change detection is a process in Angular that checks for changes within components properties. It could be the input properties or there could be the events and then would update the view accordingly. So in this case, it, it would update the HTML. So let's break it down. So we're going to create a function that is quite, quite expensive. We're going to call it from the HTML and we're going to, to see what actually happens. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a function, sum all numbers from zero to a million. So it will, ge will generate a sum here. We will, we're going to calculate up from zero to a million and then we're going to return this value. So saving here and let's go ahead and call it from the HTML. So when we call it from the HTML, as you can see here, it's called four times because we have a super small application and the change detection is triggered four times in our case. So to make this better, let's go ahead and add an interval here, which will trigger an event every second and you'll see what actually happens. So as you can see to the right here, we're having a lot of different expensive operations being done and they continue to come. And as you can see, the what I ever marked is going up and up. So this means that every time something changes or an event is triggered, it will recalculate this function, which is kind of strange, right? So the reason to how you should do it or how you should have it rather would be in this case. So we'll create a variable called sum and you would call this function in ng on in it and you would declare the results to sum. So saving this will still have a lot of performant operations because we're still calling it from the HTML, right? So what we want to do here is essentially change this into sum. So we'll only print sum. And as you can see here, the function is only called exactly once, which is much more performant than, than it actually being triggered a multiple times. So guys, keep in mind, never you call a function from the HTML file. This is the best practices in Angular to avoid doing that. Thank you for watching. All of the best. Bye.